what an angiogram actually is, is we just need to get dye flowing in the blood flow to the blood vessels. The dye flows with the blood and kind of fills up the blood vessels. And then we take these x-ray, essentially x-ray videos, uh, and that shows the flow of the dye through. And that dye, um, because it flows with the blood, it shows us the caliber, the size, the shape, and the flow rate through the blood vessels so that we can see if the blood vessels are normal and their size and their shape and their blood and their flow rate or if there's any pathology like an aneurysm or AVM or some other kind of vascular or vessel abnormality. So that's, you know, that's, that's what we're doing with the, with the dye. And to get the dye, again, there's four blood vessels that supply the brain. There's two in the back and two in the front. The two in the back are called the vertebral arteries and the two in the front are called the carotid arteries. And we select each one individually, one at a time. We inject the dye. It flows with the blood into the brain. We take the video and we see what the blood vessels look like, and then we move on to the next one.